in this video we will talk about compliance terms and conditions plugin as of now it has 40,000 active installations hi my name is Pankaj Solanki and I am a WordPress developer from creative pro team so by default WordPress comes with the privacy policy page but it does not come with the terms and conditions page all the websites that use WooCommerce or provide a service online they need terms and conditions page so that's why we use this plugin uh, I have already installed it let's activate it so it takes me straight to the setup wizard so it's asking me some questions and as I answer the questions my terms and condition page will be ready so let's start I can use my company name or personal name I'll go with company name use your full address okay country how can visitors contact me I can provide email address or contact page address so let's go with contact page address is there any cookie policy or privacy policy yes there is already one uh, if I preview it basics are in place so I can quick edit and quickly publish this and reference its link privacy statement is also same uh, where can visitors find your statutory and regulatory disclosures again in privacy policy page let's go with next so are you running a web shop yes if you have a woocommerce or selling products online use yes in my case it's no is there an option to register account no if you are offering users to register on the site select yes uh, do you engage in affiliate marketing no is there an option for visitors to post their own content on your website? No. Do you want to include your efforts concerning accessibility? No. It's for those users who are disabled like hearing disability or visual disability. Is your website specifically targeted at minors? No, it's targeted for adults. Let's go with next. So for communication, do you want to state that communication in writing is done electronically? Yes. Do you send newsletters? Yes. Do you want to enable force measure? No. It means do I force users to cancel the contracts? No. We don't force. Will you give a written notice of any changes updates before changes become effective? No. Changes will become effective and users can just go to the page and see which changes have been done. You don't have to notify. It's just asking me what I want to do. So let's go and click next. Do you offer financial, legal or medical advice? No. If you offer it, provide yes. It's safe to, you know, write a disclosure that consult a financial, legal or medical advisor before implementing any of the advice. If you offer financial, legal or medical advice. So for me, it's no. Do you want to limit liability with a fixed amount? No. Next, it's asking that uh, if anyone uses my intellectual property, what rights do I give them? So all rights reserved is best do you offer returns of goods or withdrawal of services if you offer it for seven days write seven if you offer it for 30 days write 30 so 14 days is fine let's do it 15 days so next is asking what i'm selling basically so if it's digital service i'll go with this one if it's subscription i'll go with this one and it will ask me for another questions so if it's a subscription based on delivery of goods then who will bear the cost of returning so if you are having a margin then you can go with with the seller and do you want to offer your consumer to collect the goods yourself in the event of withdrawal yeah it's okay you can do it so in my case it's services so i'll go with this one so in documents yeah create the document it will create the missing page and next do you want to link it in the menu? No. Generally, you want your terms and conditions page to be in the footer. So we will add it manually. And finally, it's asking me to finish. So this is the page that it has finally generated. Uh, it's very good. And uh, I can now go to the, all the pages and I can see the terms and conditions legal document. Uh, I like this conditions here, capital. And then yes you can see it here anyone can download the pdf here i'll show you once it's generated so here is the terms and conditions page that it has generated looks very good nice and clean so how do you add it in the footer so right now my footer has this 
menu so what i'll do is i'll go with appearances menus and there are two menu so i'll go with main and make it my footer menu and here i can add my terms and conditions page i'll go and save the menu and you can see that it's here terms and conditions uh, another thing i can do is i can also add the privacy policy page here sample page can be deleted and uh, contact page can also be added here let's save it and you can see it here i can remove the home page not needed at the bottom of the site looks good this is how you use compliance terms and conditions plugin now the tutorial is over and i have a question for you do you want to customize your wordpress website so that it looks unique and give you more conversions than regular plain copy pasted wordpress websites then hear this out over the last 10 years of working with wordpress websites we have identified over 50 wordpress customizations that when done right these make your site look unique and increase conversion rates and we have built a pdf report where we show you what the customization can do for you and how to do it on your website and if you want to download it just click to free ebooks enter your name and email address and we will send it to you via email thank you see you in my next video